Hey everyone, so today we're looking at understanding what notes can be found on a guitar or really what notes can be found in Western music. So what I've written up here, starting from a low C and going an octave higher to another C, is I've just written the order of semitones that you will find on a guitar or really any Western instrument. So when you're learning to read music, and it's not just sheet music, tablature as well, or even just chord lead sheets or chord charts, you're gonna be seeing a few different symbols, okay? You're gonna be seeing a flat symbol, which all a flat symbol is, it's, it's just a little B. It's just like you've drawn a little lowercase b out of the alphabet, that's all a flat is. Basically what a flat is, is it's, it's meant that you've taken a normal note, like a D for example, and you've moved down a step or down in pitch, you've moved down half a step, a semitone, to D flat. That's all it's done. So you've taken a pitch of D and you've moved down a semitone down to D flat. So all that, that means when you're applying it to the guitar is let's say that you're playing a D note on a guitar, but you want to play a D flat. All that means is you move to the left or closer to the headstock of the guitar and you move down a semitone to D flat. You flatten the note. You move from D to D flat. Or if you're applying this knowledge even to the piano or to the keyboard, if you're playing a D key and you want to flatten that note, you just move to the left, just like you to move to the left towards the headstock of a guitar, you move to the left next key on a keyboard, whether it's a black or a white key, and you flatten that note. That's all that this means. So when you think about it the other way, if you're moving higher in pitch rather than going lower, so you're starting with a pitch and you're going up higher, you're moving up higher there, yeah? So what you can think about it in that aspect as sharpening the notes, okay? You're sharpening the notes, you're moving up, let's go from C, and you're moving up higher in pitch to a C sharp. You, again, you're moving up just a single step, you're moving up a semitone. How you draw that little symbol, all it is is a hash. You probably see them on your phone, on your mobile phone. It's just a little hash symbol. Or if you're playing notes and crosses, it's simply that simple. That's all it is. Also, what you're going to find in sheet music is you're going to come across these other symbols called double flats and double sharps. And basically what the double flat is, is it just means that you take a note, again let's use D for example, and you've moved back two semitones for, or a tone for a double flat. So one flat would lead you to D flat, but another flat, a double flat symbol, is going to lead you to C, a tone below. So what a double flat looks like, as you've probably guessed it already, is it's just two lowercase b's together. Now for a double sharp, let's say you're looking at C, all right, and you move up a sharp or a semitone higher than C, you get C sharp. But if you move up again, another semitone in pitch higher, you're going to get to D. So you're going to move up a tone or a double sharp and here's how to draw a double sharp and we've changed color and here's how to draw a double sharp so unlike the normal hash for a normal sharp or you know knots and crosses you can think of it as that way a double sharp is actually an X so a double sharp is an X with little tags on the end that's all it is and basically you'll get these every now and again when you're looking at different sheet music all the double sharp means is it instead of moving up a semitone or one single step up or one single fret on a guitar or one key on a piano is you're moving up a tone, you're moving up two steps and that's all a double sharp is. Now, the other thing that you might get is you might get a natural sign as well when you're looking at sheet music. A natural sign basically means that within a particular song, let's say you're looking at a song that's in E flat or that has a lot of E flat notes, okay? Just like we're looking here, okay? Let's say for whatever reason, the song changes and you don't want to play that E flat anymore, you want to play a normal E. So what you would see is, instead of a flat there, because you don't want to play that E flat, you'll see a natural sign on the E. So you'll also see these natural signs. And how you draw a natural sign, it's really easy. You just draw an L. And once you've drawn that L, you add a 7. And that's it. That's how you draw a natural sign. Again, these things are going to come up, the natural signs, the double flats, and the double sharps, they're going to come up when you're reading sheet music. Not a lot when you're reading tablature, but we'll look at those further later on. So let's have a look at all the notes that you can find on the guitar or on the keyboard, or pretty much any Western instrument. Now, it is possible if you have a badly tuned guitar, 
or if you bend up a note or you have a tremolo system, it is actually possible, for example, to get a note between F and E, okay? You can get a quarter note, something like that. But really, when we're talking about tones and semitones, we're talking about these notes here. So you can start off with C, and then the next note, if you were to go higher in pitch, you could think of it as a C sharp, or you could think of it as a D flat. They're exactly the same. Then if you go higher in pitch again by a semitone or a single step, you get D. If you move up another single step, you'd get D sharp, which is exactly the same as E flat. Then if you move up another single step or another fret, you're gonna get E, exactly the same. Now, there's no sharps or flats between E and F. You just move up a single step, a semitone. There's nothing in between those two notes. In music and sheet music, you may get something that you may get find that you'll get an F flat or an E sharp, but all that that means is if you get an F flat, there's no note there, so you'll actually just be playing an E. So for example, like if you've seen The Simpsons and you know that Homer's band is the B sharps, all that the B sharps mean is it means a C. That's all it is. It's just harmonically equivalent. Now once you've looked up from F to go higher in pitch a single step, you get F sharp, which is exactly the same as G flat. Once you go up another single step, you get G, another single step or one fret, you get G sharp, which is the same as A flat. Once you go up another step, you get up to A, another single step or another fret, and you get A sharp, which is the same as B flat. Another single step, you get B. And finally, we get up to B, okay? Now B, if we go up a semitone or a single step higher, we get up to C. And there's nothing in between that, just a semitone, okay? So if you are reading a bit of sheet music and you see that they've written a C flat or you've, you know, you've seen The Simpsons and you've seen Homer's band, the B sharps, all that that means is they're harmonically equivalent. So if you had a B sharp, okay, it's the same note, you would hear the same thing as a C note. It's harmonically equivalent, it's the same thing. So if you have a C flat, so meaning we move back a semitone from C, all you would be hearing is a B note. That's the same tone as a B. So C flat is the same tone as B, and B sharp is the same tone as C. It's a little bit confusing, but you, it does come up in music, so it's important that we go through. But otherwise, that's it. All right, guys, so that's it for today. So we're gonna take this knowledge of sharps, flats, tones, and semitones, and we're gonna build with this next video, looking at how to create a major scale, and then we're gonna build again, looking at how to create major and minor triads. But that's it for today. See you guys again later.